All right, y'all, you got the blues, how I'm playing blues. You can use on a Saturday morning, y'all. Yes, sir. It is nobody but the blues. Nobody can do it like the houndy. Yep. Show can nobody can do it like old houndy do it. Yeah, good morning, y'all. <laughs> yeah, how? <laughs> and tell her mm -hmm. they came from me. Tell them they came from the how, y'all. Tell them they came from the how. For glory. Yeah. that the blues hound is on the air y'all tell everybody the blues hound is on the air we got a great show for you to line up we're going to be talking to big john cummins around 12 30 time frame and i want to thank my queen sugar for this at this morning i queen sugar thank you for setting up all of my weekly interviews i, I appreciate it i don't have to dance at her wedding y'all yes sir 
She gonna have a birthday party pretty soon. You know that? She gonna be sweet 16. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait, y'all. Can't wait. Can't wait. You got the hound, y'all, putting it down on charge 106.9 FM and 980 AM on a Saturday morning, y'all. The day before Pat St. Patrick's Day, if that means anything to y'all. Did that mean anything? St. Patrick's Day don't mean nothing to me. I don't drink beer and I don't drink green beer and I don't care. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I, I married Mrs. Wright. Y'all know that, don't you? I just don't know her first name. It was always. Yep. Her name was Wright. <laughs> you know that, did you? Ain't no my old lady. Maiden name was Wright, huh? So I married Miss Wright. Mm -hmm. I sure did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Hey, did y'all know... Do y'all know when a, a cat done clean, him, clean himself? Yeah, just like everybody else. He, he catch him smoking a cigarette. You know, he, he, he's good. Mm. Yep. Y'all who know the, the world's greatest athlete is? I ain't gonna tell you that. I ain't gonna tell you who that is. You know the, you know the quickest man in the world, right? That's a man having sex. <laughs> yeah, the quickest man in the world. Yes, sir. Mm. They told me one time that um, they told me one time that schools in West Virginia only have drivers ed two days a week. And that was because they needed to cause the sex ed for the other three days of the week. Sound like my kind of school to me. Show sure this. Sound, sound like my kind of school. Mm. Show sure do. How <laughs> y'all? Let me, let me be your backup man, y'all. Y'all, that's Mr. David Preston this morning. Good morning, y'all. You got the blues sound playing blues. You can you y'all want me to play my y'all y'all want to play my introduction so I can officially keep um, kick off the blues hound. So do you really want me to do that? I do. All right, here we go. Here's the blues hound intro, y'all. Here it is. Let's see here. Okay, let me make sure I get it. Get it on here. Is that that's the right one? Okay, put it on here, blues hat. Put it on. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. There we go. Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's the blues hound opening, y'all. Y'all like that? That's the blues hound opening. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, sir. I tell you what, y'all. You know what I did the other day? I bought me a brand new car, and I was trying it out on one of these brand new Infinity, y'all. Yeah. I was zooming down the highway, down the boulevard, down the interstate there, hitting about 80, 90 miles. And now next time I saw damn blue light behind me. I said, well, shit, I know. Shoot, he can't, he can't outrun this brand new hot thing. I hit it. I floated. You know, you know, sometimes you, you know, like back in the day, I used to have, we used to have a, uh, you know, a hot car with the 396 engines and the 496 and 357 all that kind of stuff and you used to hit the what we used to call the passing gear and you the only thing you had to do was stomp it just hit it and it and those four bail copper that you know you usually work on two bales but when you hit it hard like that right when you hit it hard like that those four bales kick in and you can hear it it's a boop, 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 and take off like a jet so I did that with like that car but it didn't quite do it that way but anyway I got up to about 100, 110 miles an hour, and then I thought, what in the hell I'm doing? I'm, you know, I can't outrun Motorola. I might can outrun him, but they're going to have Motorola. He's going to beat me. So I decided I'd just pull on over, and the cop came up to me and snatched my license out from me and looked at it without saying a word, and he said, look at here, Blue Sound. He looked and see who it was. He said, look here, Blue Sound. I can tell you what. It had been a long day. And I'm at the end of my shift, okay? Now, I should carry your black ass to jail, but I'm too tired. It's Friday. I want to go home to my old lady, and I don't know. If Friday the 13th, I don't know bad luck that happened to me. And I said, to you, now I don't want to do all this paperwork to to um, keep me beyond my shift going home to see 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 mama. And uh, But if you can tell me something, you give me an excuse, Blues Hound, for driving that damn crazy. You give me an excuse for driving that damn crazy. I might give you a second chance. So, you know me. I'm always a quick thinker. I'm a quick stanker. That's what they call me, a quick stanker. But I say I'm a quick thinker, not a quick stanker. But anyway, I said, you know what? I, I, when I looked up in that real blue mirror, okay, I, 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 something just came over me. Something just came over me. He said, what came over you, Blues Hound? I said, well... You know, uh, last week, my old lady ran off with a cop. When I saw those blue lights, I thought you were trying to bring her back. So that's why I hit the floor. And he said, well, that's good enough. You have a nice weekend, Blues Hound. Thank you, sir. Can I get a little bit more? Please give me just a little bit Before you leave town I know this time is easy Let me get it just one more time I see your bags are packed And you're standing I'm not gonna 
I get a little bit more before you leave town? Can I get a little bit more, girl? I know this time we're busy. Let me get it just one more time. <laughs> you know what? They say a man not supposed to cry. They lie. Ooh. Oh, they lie. Right. They lie. Please give me just a little bit before you leave town. I know this town is busy. I know I done you wrong. Let me get it just one more. Talking about just a little bit more. You know, how come men, y'all, tell me this, y'all, help me out. How come men such a beggar? They just big. You would think they graduated from the Key Sweat University. Big and big and big all the time. They just big, okay? Yeah, I got, I tell you what, Mr. Nehemiah Johnson is on the phone here, and I'm gonna put, Nehemiah! I want you to hold on. I'm going to put you on. This is by old men. Well, I'm so glad you called in because we ain't heard from you. And they just think, hang on. Let me switch you over to the, um, let me switch it over to the telephone part here. We got a new phone system here, Mr. Nehemiah. And I got to get used to getting it. So if I cut you off, you know, you have to call me back. Okay. So, so, so you just stand by and let me see if I can get you on the line without cutting y'all. Stand by, okay? Y'all, that Mr. Nehemiah, that's Nehemiah Johnson of uh, Biola's Menswear. Oh, Biola Menswear in the big city of Brownsville. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Oh, I got it right. Uh, well, I'm so glad, Lord have mercy. I got you on the phone. This my, this is my assistant pastor, y'all, Mister Neil My Johnson. Neil My, do you, you, do you? Yes, I, I went now, now. Listen, listen here now, okay? Now you go to uh, Neil My is, is an assistant pastor at my church, okay? And uh, I got a little confused sometimes, Neil My. You know. When the when the regular church start, then they have what they call cheering, cheering, a uh, chilling church, okay? And then all the cheering go out in in the back, okay? And then you disappear. You the pastor of the cheering ministry out there, there? Yes, sir. I am the youth pastor of of the Greater Little Rock Baptist Church. All righty then. Really? Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to. Well, I, I'm going to, Little Blues, I can't send a Little Blues Hound back there because Little Blues Hound would, would probably disrupt the church, okay? So I'm going to send him, you, 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 you'll get him an, uh, uh, you get him an F in Sunday school, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, all children are welcome. As a matter of fact, this, this is what we do. So any Sunday outside of first Sunday, all the kids, uh, they go upstairs. And when we go upstairs, I give the children the same message that pastor is giving. Uh-huh. I just give them in the kid version. Oh, okay. And then so, after I get finished with that, then they are broke up into age groups. 
and then they have their own separate classes, and we have teachers that that teach them for their age group. Yeah, so and that's that, how it works. All right, let's first let's establish the greatest church in Pensacola. Is what church is the greatest church in Pensacola, uh, Nehemiah? Greater Little Rock Baptist, Baptist church. church. The Rock. All right, that's my church and your church and everybody's church. Y'all come on down to the rock with our pastor, Lonnie, Lonnie, Reverend Lonnie. But anyhow, now let me ask you this, okay? Now, you do the same thing as my brother that 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 does the death ministry. I see he is, he's, it's, I always love to watch him, uh, my brother that do the death ministry and stuff like that. So he's saying the same thing as the pastor's saying, but to the folks that, that uh, that hearing impaired. So you and so you the youth interpreter. Okay, you interpret the the adult language for the kids, while he interpreted for the for the for the for the, for the uh, people of 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 uh, of the hearing impaired. Right? Is that simple? Simple about, about this, is that about right? That is about right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lima, I love. I know we. I know we call about the other show. I mean, call about the thing. But but it's something about church. I just love. I, when I go to church, it fulfills me. But in, in many, many, in many other ways. And instead of and all and and you know, other than getting my salvation on, okay. But I like to look around in the church and see what's happening. You know, you just look around in the dynamics that goes on in the church. You know. You got the choir singing, and they'll be happy to sing. And we got a, we got down there, got a full band at the church, don't we? This is true. That's the, hey, uh, this is the baddest band in the land. <laughs> yes, sir. They got a whole band at the church. So, in other words, what I'm trying to say to you, and the folks out there that are the heathens, you know, uh, uh, they they tell me blue sound. You ain't no. You might be. I, I call myself a Christian heathen. Now, well, I don't call myself a Christian heathen no more. What I call myself is uh, I, I give myself a grade. Okay, I might not be an A plus Christian, but I still I'm, I might be a D. Christian, I might be a C plus Christian, but I still got enough Christian in me so that I can make it over the promised land. So, uh, so if you see me, so don't don't judge me because I got a C in Christianity. Okay, so my C is the same passing grade as your A. Okay, is, is that that's, uh, you? You got quiet that, on my, you, you you got quiet on my right then, uh, Nehemiah. Is is a C? Because <laughs> oh, I'm listening. Yeah, it, is I, a, I, I'm listening. It, is a C? Is a D? Is a D Christian as good as an A Christian? Well, uh, there is a scripture that that says that those who even think they that they got that all together, I'm paraphrasing and say they're going to be the ones that barely make it in uh -huh. because we can have all the pride in the world by how super Christian whatever we are, mm -hmm. but everything that we do, hey, it's 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 uh, Bible says it's like filthy rags. We all need God' grace. Whether you may be a quote unquote A Christian or a C Christian, hey, if we don't, if we don't all, we all coming in on the curve. <laughs> well, well, I wonder what the difference going to be with with will uh, when when the A Christians get to heaven, are they going to get a bigger room or what than the C plus or the D Christian? Is that hey, is that? It's going to be no. It, it's going it's going to be. Uh, in, in in my my interpretation of it, it, it won't be a, a, a better Christian versus anybody else because the Bible says every knee gonna bow and every tongue gonna confess that He is Lord. So no matter you a quote unquote A or C or whatever, we all gotta bow. <laughs> well, uh, you know, uh, you know the book according to the blues sound. You know, I got the blues sound version of the Bible. You know, you got the King James version, all those other versions. You probably hadn't read the blues sound version of the Bible, have you? No, sir, I have not read it. You may not want to because you might. They might. You might get a feeling great as a pastor. God may just want you to. He, he might take your A away from you and, and flunk you. So you, you might want to stay Lord away from the me. blues sound version of it. Okay. We, okay. we, the Blue Sound version of the Bible, really the same version, just like you do in church, how you interpret the word in at the children level, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, the Blue Sound version of the Bible, it's the same thing, but it's interpreted to the heathen level, okay? It breaks it down okay. to the heathens can understand 
the word of God. You know, they, they might get hung up in all this other kinds of stuff, but when you break it down in, in homeboy language, and then they might they might understand it. So that's that's what the blues hound version of the Bible does. It's the same thing. So you can get it. I can reach I can probably reach more folks with the blues hound. I reach reach more heathens rather with the blues hound version than you probably could with the King James version. So so they could they can understand it from a street a street level. I hear what you're saying. I'm good. See, me personally, uh, everybody can't do it, but I'm good no matter where I'm at. Uh -huh. I, can, I can talk to people about the Lord. Uh, I can talk to them in the White House. I can talk to them in the trap house because I'm, I'm that type. I'm, I'm that type of person, and I'm, I'm bursting child with it because this is what I really do, and I'm called to do it. You know, everybody ain't called to do what what we do. Yeah. You know, yep. a degree don't mean you called to do it. <laughs> yeah, you, you actually got to be called to do it. So, so I, I feel you. I can break it down for anybody. Uh, well, well, since I got you on here, uh, Pastor, uh, you know, I, I need to know then, so I can put this into the blues hound version. They, 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 some say some was called and some are chosen. What's the difference between being chosen and called? Difference between being chosen and called is that. God himself had put it in your heart to do. It flows when you're chosen to do when you do something. Because I can look at you and say, you know what, Blue Hound? You look like a preacher. <laughs> okay. Just because you quote unquote look like a preacher don't mean that you're a preacher. Amen. So I can call anybody I want to, but when you chose it, it's a, it's a flow to it. <laughs> it's, it's easy to do it. Like what you're doing right now, mm -hmm. it's easy for you to be on the radio mm -hmm. because, hey, that's, that's, that's what you, that's, you chose to do that. Right. It flows. But you ask somebody off the street and say, hey, I want you to run this show. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that, that's a whole drug situation. Yeah, I, I, I got you. I got you. All right, then. No, That's I why we stick to our lanes. Exactly right. Exactly right. Now, uh, instead of me uh, wasting your time, we're gonna be we're gonna be the church tomorrow. So, all these Christians that want to get the good word, you need to come on down to down to the Rock, down on A Street, y'all. Yes, sir. And join us every Sunday. But anyway, let's talk about Viola Men's Wear. Cause I, I, you know, when I look around that church, I see some men dressed to kill. Okay. They are casket sharp down there. Casket sharp, okay? Uh, tell them how they can, how you can help them, Pastor. So, this is this is what we do here at Viola. We just don't sell suits and, and those things. What we do is we create an actual experience. When you get something from us, we want to see the smile come on your face once you actually put it on and you look yourself in the mirror. So, you know, we just not trying to keep people from walking around naked. We try to keep people dressed to the teeth. So we do any and everything that you need for any and every occasion. Uh, had a young man who had just left out of here. He was getting dressed because he going on a birthday trip to California. We got you. I uh, had a, a older gentleman of the non African American descent. Mm -hmm. Had him come in yesterday, and he grabbed a green blazer for St. Patrick's Day. So we can dress you for anything. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We got the young men coming in for prom. Not oh, excuse me. Let let's say this because we are in a different time. We have the young men and the young women mm -hmm. coming in getting dressed for prom. Mm hmm. We got the young people getting dressed for, for, for Easter. Whatever it is, 